A fresh wave of panic about next-gen 5G technology has appeared in recent weeks linking the tech to the current coronavirus pandemic, but these conspiracy theories have been discredited time and time again, so there's no need to panic. There's absolutely no evidence that 5G has anything to do with the coronavirus. It feels like a lifetime ago CNET was exploring the debunked claims that 5G has harmful health effects. When we investigated this issue in August 2019, scientists and researchers continually demonstrated that 5G poses no risk to human health. Thousands of scientific studies have been performed looking at radio frequency radiation and its effects on human cells, animals like rats and mice, and human tissue including brain, skin and eyes. And there's literally mountains of data and mountains of research suggesting that there's no link between cell phone radiation and something like cancer. Now we're all cooped up in our tiny apartments, the 5G conspiracy theories are back with a vengeance. As 5G has become more widely adopted, baseless theories like the idea 5G causes cancer have gained more steam. And you don't need to take my word for it, just go to our YouTube video on 5G and check the comments section. There's plenty of colourful verbiage and repeated claims that I'm a paid actor. As the coronavirus crisis has worsened, the real problem has been, well, actual actors. Some very high profile actors who shall remain nameless have spread misinformation via social media to their millions of followers. And now we're seeing a fresh wave of 5G conspiracy theories take hold, except this time they've been linked wrongly to the coronavirus pandemic. And look, I, I get it, people are scared. Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, there's been wave after wave after wave of misinformation and outright lies spread on social media networks like Twitter and YouTube and through tech services like Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. And the extreme isolation, social scientists say, is seeing us overloaded with information. And we're trying to cling to any piece of information that might explain what's happening in the world right now. But there's absolutely no connection between the coronavirus and 5G. None. Zero. Absolutely nothing. And yet, there have already been real-world accounts of damage to 5G towers and physical abuse hurled at telco workers in Britain because of fears 5G might kill people or is somehow responsible for the spread of the coronavirus. These conspiracy theories are incredibly dangerous and downplay the actions all of us are taking right now to maintain social distancing and prevent the virus from spreading further. The coronavirus is very real and it can be incredibly deadly. Here's some of the misinformation spreading about 5G and the coronavirus and why it has no basis in reality. First up, people are dying from 5G and the coronavirus is just a cover-up. Hmm. There's literally hundreds of scientifically validated papers coming out every single day which shows the virus under an electron microscope or analyzes its genetic structure or tests for antibodies in human immune systems. The coronavirus, and look, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, the coronavirus is real. It likely started in bats and jumped across to humans. And people are dying. It's disrespectful to frontline medical workers that fight day in and day out to keep people alive to believe that the coronavirus doesn't exist. Coronavirus started in Wuhan where the first 5G networks were established. Nope, that's incorrect. South Korea and even some parts of the US had access to 5G in early 2019. And that's about eight months before the first cases of coronavirus were detected in Wuhan. This discredited idea first appeared on YouTube, popularized by a man who believes that an interdimensional race of reptilian beings called the Archons have hijacked the Earth. There was another video that suggested Africa, which doesn't have 5G, had avoided the coronavirus. But Africa hasn't avoided the coronavirus, so that's false. And there's plenty of nations without great 5G access that have seen huge coronavirus outbreaks. Take Italy, for example, which has one of the highest death tolls in the world, but not a huge penetration for 5G. 5G affects your immune system. No. There is no evidence that 5G wavelengths can harm the body. And there's no evidence that it can affect your immune system, your body's natural defense against things like viruses and bacteria. 
And it's true that the immune system is highly complex, but a number of studies have looked at how high powered radio waves like those used in 5G might harm the body. Those studies have not found any evidence that immune functions are changed by 5G wavelengths. Still, even with all the evidence against the conspiracy theory, misinformation has been difficult to contain. There's been hundreds of videos on social media and a mountain of fake messages spread through services like WhatsApp in recent weeks. And those networks are now doing their best to stop the spread of misinformation. WhatsApp is limiting message forwarding, YouTube will stop recommending coronavirus 5G conspiracy videos to cut down on how much they are viewed, and Facebook and Twitter are pointing users toward trusted sources like the World Health Organization and the CDC to get information about the disease. Writing in the conversation on April 6, John Patrick Allum, a researcher at the University of Southern California, wrote, Many people are unintentionally sharing misinformation about COVID-19 because they fail to stop and think sufficiently about whether the content is accurate. That means that some of us, without even knowing, are sharing false claims, and we don't even know they're false. But what we do know is actually quite simple. The coronavirus is real challenging our way of life and it's putting an immense stress on our healthcare system. It's upended everything. It's caused businesses to shudder. What we should be doing right now is supporting the people on the front lines. We should be supporting doctors, nurses, scientists, researchers, all these people that are trying to keep the planet turning, they're trying to keep the world running smoothly. What we shouldn't do is believe and spread baseless conspiracy theories. That's the most damaging and disrespectful thing that we can do right now. And we're better than that.